Hey everyone, my name's Kristen and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Happy Halloween to all of you guys. It is actually Halloween when I'm posting this. I normally post on Fridays, but I posted a day early just so I could post this on Halloween. We are in Forgotten Hollow and I am building a vampire house. I guess it's more so a mansion than a house. I mean, it has six bedrooms. So is a mansion technically seven bedrooms? I guess if that's the case, then this is just a really big house filled with a huge vampire family. It has grandma and grandpa, it has mom and dad, it has a teenager, a child, and a newborn baby. So it is definitely a full house. And I, this is the first time I've actually built a vampire house on my channel. I have built a couple of vampire houses here and there throughout my time playing Sims but definitely few and far between. I was a little bit out of my comfort zone building this. Actually, to be honest, all of the occults, I was out of my comfort zone building every single one that I've built. And if you are new to my channel or you have been around but you have missed the last few videos, then I have posted a spellcaster house that was the very first occult that I have built this like Halloween season. And then the last video that I posted was a werewolf house and it was for three different generations. And it turned out, they both turned out really good. Same with this one. I mean, good in my opinion for someone that does not build a cult's houses at all. <laughs> I really hope you guys feel the same way and if you do then make sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already as well as like this video it helps the algorithm push it out to other simmers and to be totally honest guys I am not very good at posting on a weekly basis I I used to have a pretty good schedule down but here recently my schedule has not been so good so the algorithm it definitely helps out when you guys like the video it pushes the algorithm to send my videos out so I would really appreciate it if you guys leave a like on this video if you do indeed like it with all of that being said let's get into the build a little bit so as you can see we pretty much have the exterior built so to speak i mean i yeah this is pretty much how it looks i don't really add any other walls you'll see me here in just a minute add some more walls but i quickly delete those this is such a big house already i didn't want to keep adding more rooms um i wanted to keep it kind of on the smaller side i say it's the smaller side but as we can see it's not small whatsoever um and the bigger that it went it just would have taken me a lot longer to build and I was trying to keep my time down a little bit. Not only does it take a long time to build, it takes a long time to record obviously as I'm building, but it takes a long time to edit the video and then it takes a while to do the voiceover as well. It's like three different steps and so the real big houses, as much as I like to do big houses, I try to limit them just because it saves me on time. And so that was my thinking on keeping this house as small as possible. Uh, with that being said though, obviously it's not small. It's still pretty big, but honestly it, it didn't take me too long to build this house. I would say it probably took me all together about four hours, maybe five, pushing it on five, but pretty, I'm pretty sure it's four. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty good for me anyways. It takes me a while to do some builds, but we are getting the landscaping together now. I really wanted to have this like a really overgrown look. And as of right now, it does not look overgrown like at all, but that does change towards the end. I put like trees out once I get the finish on like the exterior walls, then I'll start putting like trees around. And I also add a graveyard to this house, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, that's not something that I do very often. And the reason why I thought to do it was yes, it is an ode to the new pack that's coming out, which is actually going to be releasing today. Um, as you guys are watching this, the new pack is out. So that's pretty exciting. Um, if you guys have, you know, purchased it already, then let me know down below how you are enjoying it. 
I do plan on purchasing it on the day that it actually comes out. I'm really looking forward to having like the memorial services slash funerals, really whatever you want to call it. And also the Grim Reaper career looks so interesting. And then ghosts have their own skill tree. And I seen that the ghost, you can actually be reborn. So I don't know. It seems like a pretty interesting pack compared to the packs that have recently released. I feel like they've been a little bit lackluster and so I'm really interested in this pack coming out. Hopefully it's as good as like we all think it's gonna be or by we all I mean me. <laughs> I don't really know what the outside opinions are. I haven't really been watching any videos of any other YouTubers and their opinions or any early release footage or anything like that so I am going to be going into it blind like I am not going to know anything other than the trailer that I seen so that's going to be fun and so yeah you guys seen the little uh graveyard that I put in the backyard I was kind of thinking that that is a family graveyard so whatever vampires are not immortal I want to say that not all of them are immortal in the game, right? I mean, it's been a while since I played vampires, so forgive me if I have that incorrect. But I want to say that you have to unlock that in the skill tree for vampires. Um, that sounds about right. If not, then I feel like that's kind of cheating. I feel like they need to work their way out up to like the master vampire and that's when they become immortal kind of like spellcasters and werewolves are the same way i want to say once you get to like that master level of the skill tree that's when you're able to actually unlock the immortality um so I think it's the same for the vampires, but I was thinking in my head the actual graveyard in the backyard was just the family graveyard, the vampires that passed away either due to, you know, the time, they were just old, they were not immortal, or if, you know, they were immortal, then it was just the sunlight that killed them. Uh, one way or another, they end up passing away, and so they are forever resting out in the backyard and I really wanted to do something kind of cool with the graveyard but I ended up just putting some gravestones there and some landscaping around it and then I put like some roses and some lanterns you know kind of trying to make it look like they're still going out there and you know putting flowers at their gravestone it is their family after all so it wasn't as cool <laughs> as I was wanting it to be when I first started, but it it's still something. It's still a graveyard. It's still kind of cool that they have one in their backyard. Um, at first, I was thinking maybe that would be like their victims, you know, but would it, they really have like gravestones for their victims or would they just kind of dig a hole and put them in the hole, you know? Um, you guys tell me. <laughs> I feel like it would be the later option. Uh, definitely they would just put them in a hole. If even that. I mean they might just throw them in an alley. I don't, I don't know. Uh, but we are now upstairs. So this is actually an extra bedroom. So what I ended up doing was creating a master bedroom for the parents. And they just have like a regular bed in there. And then this coffin, they actually take turns using this coffin. I did that that way because, you know, they they have to have a bed. They have to woohoo somehow, right? I don't, oh, now that I'm thinking about it, I think they can woohoo in the coffin. But I, okay, I just didn't have enough room in the bedroom downstairs that is the master bedroom to put two coffins it just didn't really look right and so i ended up just doing this up here and i i'm making like a really cool coffin room like i'm putting some like columns around it with the spandrels and then i'm putting curtains all around it i put a light above the coffin and i actually really like the way that this room turned out i think it turned out super cool this whole build honestly turned out super cool i really wasn't sure how the furnishing was going to turn out since i don't do like builds like this very often i'm not a huge occult player and i'm not like a huge occult fan like in real life or anything so i don't watch a lot of like vampire movies or anything 
and so I wasn't sure how this was going to turn out on the inside, but since I used just the vampire pack and base game, there's plenty of stuff in the vampire pack to make this house look nice and, you know, vampire-ish, you know? And so that was really good. And I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but on the other wall, I put like the really big pictures with the vampires on the inside. Um, I kind of was thinking that's like mom and dad. <laughs> that's like mom and dad's portraits. Um, and so this is the upstairs or the attic bathroom, I guess I should say. I, there, the, it was an open space. What can I say? <laughs> that is why I made it a bathroom. And I am putting plenty of like those curtains. They're like blackout curtains, basically. I'm putting plenty of those around because, you know, the vampires, they do not want light coming in at all. And, oh, and this entryway, guys, I really like this entryway. I love doing like grand entryways. And so I try to do it especially in like super like nice builds and elegant builds i mean this is like vampire elegant i feel like i try to do it in elegant builds just to make it look nice and grand on the inside you know and especially if i don't have a bunch of roof around the second story if you have a roof around the second story it makes it so difficult to cut out the floor uh if you know you know and so when I don't have a bunch of roof around the second floor, I definitely take advantage of that and I will cut out a good part of the second floor just, you know, to make some sort of entryway. And this one turned out super good and super open, but dark at the same time. Like it doesn't look too open. Um, I definitely was happy with the way that it turned out. And now we are over into the kitchen. I'm pretty sure at this time I am just trying to place things where I am going to want them to be just so it doesn't, you know, it's not too overwhelming and I can keep track of what's what. It's just easier for me. And so I put the dining table over there by the kitchen and then the living room obviously is downstairs as well as grandma and grandpa's bedroom is also downstairs. Now, remember I said mom and dad, um, I put an actual bed in their bedroom and they can share the coffin up on the very top floor. I did not do that for grandma and grandpa. Uh, they have their own coffin. They kind of don't need to sleep next to each other, you know. They prefer their separate coffins. Let's just put it that way. And they are in the same room. So I don't love grandma and grandpa's room really. I think it's kind of bland. I could only fit two coffins in there really. And then I gave them like a walk-in closet. And that was pretty much everything I could fit in there and really that was pushing it and here is the living room I do something kind of cool with the living room also here in just a moment I actually put like the middle of the floor up on a platform and then I put the columns around it and I put the spandrels around it almost what I did on the very top floor with the coffin I did that downstairs in the living room as well and I really like the way that that looks I feel like it gives vampire vibes for some reason I'm not exactly sure why but it does oh and by the way you're probably wondering like yeah that's looking pretty tight with like the platform and the columns so does it work <laughs> and the answer is yes i actually play tested this pretty much as i was building it for the most part like certain things i already know because i build so often i know if it's gonna work or not but the stuff that i wasn't sure about like the upstairs coffin yes it does in fact work i made sure to bring a sim here just to test it out and so this Okay, so the living room, I ended up not doing it exactly how I had it at first. It, there was not enough room. It just looked a little bit too crammed. And so I just put the platform up on like the outside, not really the outside, but you know, that that part towards the windows. I ended up putting that on the platform and adding the columns and the spandrels. And then I put a fireplace on one side and the other side I put like a huge giant TV I mean vampires they need TVs also and 
I really just did not know what else to put there, if I'm being totally honest. And above the fireplace is pretty empty, so I ended up just putting like a picture there. And I was going to put like some sort of like statue or something, but I don't think I ended up doing that. I think it looked a little bit too busy. I mean, this is a pretty busy build as it is, but... I wanted to keep it kind of nice and tidy and clean at the same time. I feel like vampires would be very, very tidy and like neat freaks, you know, like they don't want dust anywhere. Um, I There are spider webs that came with the vampire pack, but I did not put them anywhere in this build. I, I didn't, I wasn't going for that vibe. Um, and out here, I actually, right now I have like the statues of the woman, but I end up changing that and I put the gargoyles there instead. I definitely knew that I wanted to do something like that. It would not be a vampire build if there was not gargoyles out in the front or at least some sort of statue, if not gargoyles. I know the gargoyles are not for everyone. They're not, you know, pretty by any means, but it's just, you know, the aesthetic. You, you have to do it for the aesthetic. And I also ended up putting, what do you call that instrument, an organ? I, th <laughs> I think it's called an organ, that piano thing. I ended up putting that in the living room as well and then just like a bookcase and a mirror. I don't think vampires can see themselves, at least, you know, real life stories of vampires, they cannot see themselves in mirrors, but as far as like Sims, I don't know, like I said, like I, it's been so long since I've played with a vampire and I don't think I've really you know, went out of my way to look to see if they show up in mirrors or not. I'd be kind of interested, or I'd be interested to know if they can see themselves in the mirror. I feel like that would have been a good touch for them not to show up in the mirror, but you know, you know the Sims team. They don't like to do too much extra if they don't have to. They don't like the little small details. If this was the Sims 2, that totally would have been a detail in the pack. And now I am going around and doing the bathrooms. Um, the bathrooms I look forward to the absolute least. They are a pain in my butt. Uh, they are just not, they're not fun, you know? Like they have the same thing in every single room, basically. I mean, that might be on me, the fact that they're not fun, but how else are you supposed to do a bathroom other than like a toilet, a sink, and a bathtub you know and um so i'm glad that i got that over with and then the dining room there's really not really anything special about the dining room i couldn't fit much more in there and so it's basically the dining room dining table and like a rug and then i put a table with a lamp on there and some pictures and stuff you know that's basically it i don't think it needed much more than that this is such like a dark build with such like red accent that it looks pretty busy and so you don't need like a whole bunch of like decor and stuff um and so this kitchen i think is pretty interestingly shaped uh i don't normally do like kitchens as weirdly shaped as this i do if it's a weirdly shaped room for the kitchen just like this is like this shape of room probably isn't the most ideal for the kitchen but it it just ended up being the kitchen i thought it made pretty pretty good sense and so i ended up just putting like counters on like one side and then some cabinets along with the stove on the other side and then the sink I just kind of put there next to the refrigerator and then I put the counters in the center as like the island and with stools of course and then I end up putting I don't think I did it yet I end up putting a rug under the counters uh like the island counters I know that doesn't make a whole lot of sense it is not very realistic but it looked better <laughs> which I feel like uh it's a pretty good excuse. I, I don't know about being a good excuse, but it's an excuse. And uh, I guess I forgot about a bathroom. This is the upstairs bathroom. There is actually only one upstairs bathroom and there's two downstairs. And then there's one that is all the way on the third level 
uh, pretty much the attic. And so there I was just play testing just to make sure, you know, the coffin actually worked. And I was actually kind of sweating making sure that it worked. I was so nervous that it wasn't going to work. And then I'd have to redo the upstairs. And it's not the fact that I would have had to have redone the upstairs. It's just the fact that I thought it looked super cool. And I really wanted to keep it the way that it looked. And so I would have been pretty disappointed if I had to change it. Uh, but anyways, this is the grandparents room. So as you can see, it's kind of you know it's kind of bland <laughs> uh there's two coffins then there's obviously like wall decor and like a rug and then i was going to put an easel there then i thought about like a chair and it just didn't look right and as i was looking across uh the vampire pack i noticed that they have like this what do you call that it it's like um it has the book on it <laughs> And like it looks like that they're reading like a book and it has to do with their their like powers and stuff um, I thought that made a lot of sense and so I ended up just putting that there instead and here I am realizing that how I had it was not working uh, they could not go inside of the closet with the coffin right there and I definitely knew that I did not want to delete that coffin I wanted this to be for grandma and grandpa and so I ended up just changing the shape of the walk-in closet and I put like a catty corner diagonal on it with the archway on that and they are able to use both the coffin and the closet now so I was pretty happy about that and here is that entryway that I was talking about um, especially with the curtains added didn't that look like so good I loved the way that that turned out and this is the master bedroom for the parents and as you guys can tell this is very much red and black themed and I pretty much kept that true through the whole entire house other than like the teenagers room and the child's room those two are different colors still kind of like on the darker side but different like the teenager has like a purple and black theme and then the child has like a like a blue grayish type of theme and then I have the nursery as well but I ended up just changing or I kept the red in the nursery I didn't have any other color that I really wanted to use in there I could have used just like a dark wood with like the white but I really like the red look and actually the nursery I d didn't really know how to style the nursery and so I ended up putting a platform in there as well and I thought it turned out pretty cool and then I put like the columns and the spandrels just like I did in all the other rooms and it really used up the space pretty well and maybe a little bit too well <laughs> I ended up just putting like literally the bassinet in there and then a couple of plants I believe and curtains and a rug and that was it. it it had no room for anything else and now we are over into the teenagers room so just like I was saying it is like purple and black and I really couldn't fit too much in here either I wanted to put a dresser in here but it just would not fit I had to choose between a dresser and a computer desk with a computer and obviously I ended up choosing the computer desk I kind of thought this teenager was really into like gaming and stuff and social media uh, you know she might be a vampire but she's still a normal teenager at the end of the day and I put like a bunch of candles and stuff around her room as well I thought that was a really nice touch um, I would have, you know, put like a candle maker in there as well if I had Eco Lifestyle, but this is just vampires and base games. So obviously I had to scratch that idea, but I kind of thought that she'd be really into like making her own candles as well. And then I was furnishing the hallways and I wanted to make it not so like bland and empty and so I put like the rugs and I put a couple of statues but I ended up switching those out and putting some 
plants instead and I think it turned out a lot better and then I end up putting statues like in the middle of the walkway however and that might sound kind of weird but I feel like it fits I mean that's such a big hallway and this is the child's room there's really I mean I think it turned out okay I don't love it it's not my best room I've done for a child but it's pretty good I ended up choosing that um like that stuffed animal special for vampires I obviously if something comes in the pack and it's a new stuffed animal I have to use it I have to put it in the child's room you know if not then did you really even build with the pack you know uh, I would say not no you did not do it to your full potential uh, but <laughs> this is the nursery so like I was saying I ended up putting it on a platform and by doing so it looks super duper cool but it gave like little room to do anything so yeah just a bassinet and a couple plants and that's that's it I actually looking back I didn't even put any wall decor on there other than some lights and here is where I'm adding the actual like statues on the tables in the middle of the walkway I mean your sims are going around it there is way enough space there to be able to put some like statues in the middle I thought it added something extra that it really really needed and we are finally back on the outside of the build usually I do the landscaping first and then like I do the furnishing like at the last minute I usually like landscaping the best and I really dread doing the furnishing to be honest I'm just really not good at furnishing and it was the opposite for this build though I did not love doing the landscaping <laughs> I tried really hard to keep it you know vampire themed and how it would look in this world uh, but at the same time I wanted it to look pretty overgrown and stuff uh, so dead but overgrown at the same time and so it was kind of hard putting those two styles together uh, but I think I think it turned out pretty good I put like these unmanicured bushes all around the house literally like around the fence that is on the outside of the house as well as the actual foundation of the house and I end up like it was kind of hard to put the bushes around this house to be honest because of the shape that it's in so I had to like keep raising the actual like foundation to be able to fit some of these bushes under the house and so it's on like oof like eight flights of stairs not not flights but like eight steps should I say which is quite a lot of steps for an exterior staircase leading up to like the front door but I think it actually really fits I mean it's like a gothic Victorian type of house and so the super long staircase it makes sense to me and it looked really good so I was pretty happy with it and then I put like those dead um, trees I'm not sure what kind of trees you call those but like the Christmas tree looking trees um, they're kind of like half dead looking it's like a color and it's like an auburn color and then I end up putting uh, the green trees around it just a couple of the green ones just to blend it in a little bit better with the world and then I did the dead like leafless tree with like a bunch of dead branches on it kind of hidden between the other trees and I had to actually turn my reshade off for a little bit because it's really on the dark side uh, that's just forgotten hollow in general so this really isn't the best lighting but I thought it kind of fit for doing a vampire house I mean they are dark as it is anyways and something else that was kind of hard was putting choosing what landscaping to do other than trying to blend it together it was also the fact that I didn't use what I normally use when it comes to landscaping I use like these dead roses and these like palm frond looking plants that come with the actual like vampire game pack and I never use those and so I did not know how to style it and lay it out and I really don't love those two pieces of landscaping either I really like the vibrant greens and stuff and I didn't want to do it all vibrant green so I had to 
use what came with the vampire pack to keep it kind of like the dark aesthetic uh but at the end of it i think it turned out pretty good i mean at least for someone that's not used to building with these particular items very often and the actual like paving for this house it gave me a really hard time too you guys are about to see me struggle pretty bad i probably could have cut this out but i figured why not just leave it in i couldn't decide where i wanted to put like the sitting area of the backyard i didn't know if i want to do like the whole thing with the paving or leave some grass um i definitely didn't like the idea of paving it all like i definitely wanted to leave some grass in the backyard i wanted to put these monkey bars and i also wanted to put like a garden somewhere so that they can grow plasma fruit and things and i think there's some other like vampire plant they can plant other than garlic obviously they're not going to want to do that um but it's like the plasma fruit and there's something else i can't remember what it is but i figured they could plant those things and then I also wanted to put like obviously a table and chair set and I wanted to use this red to keep the red accents alive on the outside just like it is on the inside and I really wanted to put that fountain somewhere I just really wasn't sure where and I ended up just putting it on the side of the house by like the trees over there it kind of fit I guess I could have moved it on the other side that has like an empty space on the other side of the uh, graveyard but I didn't really think about that. You definitely think about new things as you're watching it back. So I end up just putting like a circular pavement and with the actual like table and chairs on it with like a grill. And then I put uh, like a sidewalk walking from the front of the house to the back of the house. And now I'm just adding some like terrain paint touches and definitely have to finish some landscaping still, but that will happen pretty quickly. And then as far as the graveyard goes, just like I was saying earlier, I end up just putting like a couple of roses next to some of them and then lanterns next to the other ones. It's nothing too crazy with the graveyard. I wanted to do something a lot cooler, but I just, I ran out of time and I really wasn't sure what else to do there. It was kind of too small of an area, I think. But with all of that being said, we are actually nearing the end of the video now, so... If you have not already, then please subscribe to my channel and also leave a like on this as well. Just like I was saying earlier in the video, it really helps my channel out. And I hope you all have an amazing rest of your Halloween. And I will see you all in the next video very soon. Bye guys.